is that you absolutely must know who lives and dies in the second Pumpkinhead movie. And if you don't, you're just going to be playing a long, tiresome guessing game. There are actually only two people who survive that movie, Jenny and Jane. Everyone else has to die in order to obtain the item they're carrying. Because when people die in this game, they reappear in front of you dressed as a monk, and they hand you some useless children's toy, and they say, I hope you know what to do with this. Well, no! I don't! What the fuck am I supposed to do with a fire truck? What the fuck? And you'll also have to collect their souls from the hands of destiny. This is boring and tedious. Of course, that's not all there is to this level. Oh no, sir. There's also... The Hell Room. The Hell Room. Oh yes, the Hell Room. You see, there are a variety of enemies in this level that, once you kill them, don't actually die. They're simply sent to the Hell Room. And, once you've killed all of them, this room is filled to the brim with enemies, making it damn near impossible to get through. And it gets worse. You know those lost souls you have to save? Well, every time you find one, it gets whisked away to the Hall of Purgatory, which is basically a cattle farm for souls. Go to this room, avoid pissing on the electric fence, and then capture the soul. After you collect all nine lost souls and all the items from the cinematics, fight your way through the Hell Room, or if you're smart, you went through this room once after every time you killed an enemy, to the Gatekeeper's Room. He'll tell you to follow him and then ask you yet another trivia question from the movie. It's here that you've got to look at your newspaper again to find the answer. Select the right answer, touch the flame of truth, and... Now you're taken to Pumpkinhead's lair, and it's here that you can finally end this miserable game. The only problem is that the requirements for reaching the end are random. By random, of course, you mean you can't explain it. No, no, no. By random, I mean if you didn't collect every single item from the previous level, this game will probably fuck you over. You have to watch two cinematics here. One of them where Pumpkinhead kills another person, and one where some random person explains what item you need to use to calm Pumpkinhead's soul. It can be any item you collected in the previous level. So basically, you make your way through the maze, jump through a couple of portals, get to the center of the place where Pumpkinhead has his domain, and then you give him a snuggling teddy bear, and then the game's over. You don't actually fight the end boss, you just give him a nice toy. Pretty much. Game's over. Can I go now? I have a crotch that I gotta take care of. Stop! No! You are not done yet! Oh god. What do you mean, oh god? What do you mean we're not done? We just beat the game! He's gonna make us watch it. Wait, watch what? <laughs> ah, behold the power of Pumpkinhead! Yeah. <sighs>